we're going to use integration by parts to evaluate the integral. We have the integral of natural log of the quantity 3r plus 8 integrated with respect to r. The integration by parts formula is shown here where the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. And the idea is there's no basic integration formula to integrate this integral, but after applying the integration by parts formula, this integral will be easier to evaluate. So we begin by letting part of the integral be equal to u, the remaining part be equal to dv. We mentioned earlier, whenever the natural log function is part of the integrand function, we normally let that part be equal to u. So in this case, we'll let u equal to natural log of the quantity 3r plus 8, which means dv is equal to dr. Now that we know that u is equal to natural log of the quantity 3r plus 8, we define differential u by differentiating, and because we know that dv is equal to dr, we'll integrate to find v. Let's first find differential u, which equals u prime times, in this case, differential r. Remember, the derivative of natural log u is equal to one over u times u prime, so here, differential u equals one over the quantity three r plus eight times the derivative of three r plus eight, which is three, times differential r. Let's write this product as a single fraction where the numerator would be three. So differential u equals three divided by the quantity three r plus eight times differential r. And now to find v, we integrate both sides of this equation showing some work, we can write this as the integral of one dv equals the integral of one dr. Sometimes it's helpful to have the integrand function be one to remind us the integral of one with respect to v would be v equals the integral of one with respect to r would be r. We would have plus c, but we'll add the c later when applying the integration by parts formula. So now we know v is equal to r, we can apply the integration by parts formula. Give an integral equals u times v, which would be natural log of the quantity three r plus eight times r. Let's write that as r times natural log of the quantity three r plus eight. And then we have minus the integral of v du. Well, v du would be r times three divided by the quantity three r plus eight times differential r, and this r would be in the numerator with the three, so we have the integral of three r divided by the quantity three r plus eight differential r. Now at first, this integral does not seem any simpler than the original because we cannot integrate this using u substitution, so what we have to do now is perform this division. As a division problem, we have three r divided by the quantity three r plus eight. So the first step is to determine how many three r's are in three r, which would be one. Now we multiply, one times the quantity three r plus eight is the quantity three r plus eight. Now we subtract. Instead of subtracting, we'll add the opposite. So we can change this to addition as long as we change the sign of the terms inside the parentheses. So subtracting this quantity is the same as adding negative three r minus eight. And notice that three r plus negative three r is zero, and therefore the result is just negative eight, which means the quotient is one minus eight divided by the quantity three r plus eight. Which means you can write this as r times natural log of the quantity three r plus eight minus the integral of one minus eight divided by the quantity three r plus eight integrated with respect to r. Let's continue on the next slide. For the next step, let's write this as two separate integrals. So we have r times natural log of the quantity three r plus eight minus the integral of one differential r. And then because we have a minus here and a minus here would be plus the integral of this fraction Let's factor out the eight, so we'd have eight times the integral of one over the quantity three r plus eight differential r. The last step is to evaluate this integral and this integral. So we have r 
natural log of the quantity three r plus eight minus the integral of one with respect to r would be r, and then plus eight times, to find this integral, let's perform u substitution, where u, where u is equal to the denominator, so we have u equal to three r plus eight, which means differential u is equal to three differential r. Notice how we don't have three differential r, we just have differential r. So if we divide both sides by three, we would have one third differential u equals differential r. So we can write this in terms of u as integral of this would be one over u, but differential r is equal to one third du, so we'll factor out the one third and then we have differential u. And the integral of one over u is equal to natural log absolute value of u, but we're already assuming the quantity three r plus eight is positive, and therefore we'll leave off the absolute value. So the final antiderivative function is r natural log of the quantity three r plus eight minus r plus eight thirds times the integral of one over u with respect to u, which is natural log absolute value of u plus c, which in our case would be natural log of the quantity three r plus eight plus c. Again, we're leaving off the absolute value around the quantity three r plus eight because we are assuming the quantity three r plus eight is positive based upon the given integral. So this is the antiderivative function using integration by parts. Now we could change the form of this antiderivative by factoring, but we'll go ahead and leave it in this form. I hope you found this helpful.